Do you love blacksmithing, hate laundry, and need an apron? In that case, stay tuned. I'm Jeremy, Level Up Blacksmith, coming at you twice weekly with new videos documenting my journey into blacksmithing. So subscribe below so you don't miss anything. Blacksmithing is tough, dirty work, and it is ruining my clothes. So I went to Harbor Freight and bought this yellow monstrosity, a welding apron, and it almost do the job, but not quite. So I'm gonna have to modify it. It won't do its job because it's not split in the front. And so it makes it a little bit more difficult to hold stuff between your legs. While wearing the apron, I marked the next where my crotch is and I'll split it up to that point. But first, I'm gonna to have to take this pocket off. It'll also provide some leather that we'll use here shortly. Now that the pocket's removed, I'm measuring the apron and I'm gonna draw a line from that X down to the bottom, dividing it equally in two. I've been a slight perfectionist here, but I don't know why. This is where I use that excess leather that was formerly a pocket. I'm going to draw a semicircle here and I'm going to use that to reinforce the slit. When I said semicircle, what I really meant was the best semicircle that I could draw freehand. I'm marking where I'm going to punch the holes. Being a little bit of a perfectionist here. And then I'm gonna use that hole punch right there to punch the holes. Now I size the punch uh, to the nails that I'm gonna use as rivets. I'll show you those momentarily. Oops, uh, the portion of the video where I showed you the nails up close must have um, ended up on the editing room floor. These are roofing nails, galvanized roofing nails that are three quarter inches in length. You can pick them up in any hardware store. But I'm just using those as rivets at the moment. I'm feeding them through the holes. And then shortly, I'm gonna use the snips and cut them down. Here we go, I'm just cutting them where there's a little bit of metal right above the leather. Not too much, I wasn't being exactly precise, but here we go. Make sure you're wearing eye protection when you're doing this because those little fragments of nail come off at a pretty quick speed when you're using a snips like this. I'm using this piece of flat bar that I picked up for a future project as a hard surface so I can rivet these nails. That's a ball peen hammer. I'm just slowly mushrooming the heads of the nails so they form true rivets. There we go. All that's left to do now is to clean up the excess leather. I'm just trimming the thread that was holding the original two pieces together and then I'll use the scissors to trim it all off.
here's me goofing off with the finished project. And there you have it. One welding apron from Harbor Freight converted into a blacksmithing apron. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Like this video or dislike it on your own preference. Comment below, share it with a friend. You know they'd like to see it. And until next time, Auf Wiedersehen.